Geneva Fresh. Um, I'm a rapper. Um, I was part of this song that we made. In Barbary, it's a proper moja. Young Alucindy come message. Do you know? Banabana. Now, better. 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 Better.
And once again, I want to appreciate our stars, the Icon children who have demonstrated that it is possible to speak to the world through art. I want to appreciate Lena Kagere, our golden buzzer, our upcoming superstar. Your future is bright. Thank you for inspiring uh, the children from BDBD Refugee Settlement. And to our rapper, um, Fresh Kid, I hope you've made it uh, in your exams that you've had today. So thank you very much you know, for coming straight uh, out of your exam room to join uh, your friends to launch this album, Tuku Pamoja. Oxfam is a global movement um, of people fighting for change, um, fighting poverty and injustice around the world. In Uganda, we work for a society free from injustice and suffering. Uh, we have been working and partnering with several organizations in all the um, refugee settlements around the country. And as you know, Ugandan government policy is one of the best in the world. It is an open door policy. You cannot compare it with anyone, any other countries. And it's so unique. And we really appreciate the government of Uganda for such an approach. My name is Gordon Damake Abdu. Today stands for Capitex. I work with the British local government. But so much affiliated to refugee issues. My this number. Yeah. I'm joining hands in the plight of the children. And uh, of course, children also fighting for their own plight. That's the way to go. We also need to. Of, of uh, land. The refugees are not lazy people. They are not people who, sh who are waiting. Go local, you know. <laughs> that is how our situations are. Uh, just like I said, we are happy for this city. And I want to begin by thanking ICANN for this brilliant idea. Thinking about the children is something which has been so much neglected. But today, they have come up and say we also exist, mm -hmm. and that is the way to go. Uh, they are able to identify their problems, and here we are to appreciate that they know what they need for their fellow children. Uh, members, it's not my day. I'm here to moderate this session. Uh, just like echoed before, I wish to welcome Frank, the executive director for ICAN, to give a short remark, and then thereafter, welcome the executive director of Oxfam, who is the main donor behind this function. Oxfam wants to say thank you so much for having dared to in the plight of these children. Just like the, the theme of this album says, Tuko Pamoja, and that has been our, our fight. That refugees and the host communities are alike. We have common problems. Therefore, we need to stand together to address these problems as one. Having said that, Frank, kindly come and take my seat for uh, The guests around, uh, our partner Oxfam, uh, our different partners for AIR, uh, Brass for Africa, and uh, other uh, government officials that may be present, uh, that includes OPM and uh, uh, people present. I want to welcome you all to this uh, launch of Tuko Pamoja. We are grateful that uh, an organization, a small organization like us, uh, can call you and you listen and come to hear from us. Uh, we are much grateful. My name is Stephen Wandudimo. I'm the founder and executive director of ICANN South Sudan, a refugee-led organization based in Bilibidi Refugee Settlement that engages children in social and musical activities to heal them of trauma. We are a multi-sectoral organization that advances the well-being of displaced child and uh, we have focus on vulnerable children and women. 
so much has been already said and I would like, I may not need to take much of the time, but I would like to take this opportunity to tell you why music. Uh, we started in 2017 and uh, we chose music as a tool that we could use because by then we were refugees and we had nothing to offer the children. But we felt uh, we have the music talent, let us use the music as a tool as to, to give uh, counseling to the children, to give the children their voice, and to give the children uh, a, a platform to advocate for their right. So that's why we started music. Uh, mainly we are doing music with these children not to initiate them to become musicians, but to give it as a tool that can raise their voices so that they can reach out to more and uh, be able to get platform like this and speak about what they go through. So talking about what the children go through in the refugee settlement, there have been a number of issues that we can use this platform to highlight. The children in the refugee settlement are facing problem of education. There are few classrooms in the refugee settlements and few teachers. In one class, there can be like 400 children studying, which gives uh, the teacher hard time to teach them and that they are not getting the, the quality education they are supposed to get. In, in the refugee settlement, uh, children have no food at school. They go empty stomach and return empty stomach. The food ratio that is given to refugees continue to reduce day by day. As I talk, refugees are able to get only 4.5 kg of corn that, they have, that, that one person gets per family. If this is a family of only uh, three, eight, three members, then it is 15 kg per month and a maize corn to go and grind it to become a flour and make it a food which cannot last a month. So these are issues